Alright everybody, this is Tony with OMG Droid and I'm back. Still digging in on this Galaxy S3 review. And right now I want to give you guys a look at one of the most impressive new features that uh, comes along with this phone. It's all the motion stuff. The phone has a motion sensor and it does a ton of different things based upon different gestures and motions that you make. Um, the first up is direct call. And direct call basically lets you call anybody from your log or your text messages. All you have to do is when you're on that contact, you just lift the phone up like that to your head and it automatically dials them. Very nice stuff. Then we've got smart alert. This one is if you've got your phone placed face down and you get a phone call or a message, as soon as you lift it up, the phone notifies you that you have a message or a missed call, and you have the option of getting in contact with that person right away. Another nice and nifty one. Now, tap to the top of a list. This is really cool. If you're on a uh, email um, contact list, uh, email list or a message, you can just top, tap the top of it here. Sorry about that. Kicking the camera over. And let's see. There you go. Doesn't work as great as it should on the first one, but you get the idea. We're up there at the top now. Contact one. Then we've got tilt to zoom. When you're inside of a photo, let's see. Go into my gallery here. And we'll go into the first picture that pops up. You just put your fingers on there and by moving the device around you can zoom in like that. Pretty nice. What else do we have here? We've got pan to move icon. I have Apex installed, so I'm not going to be able to show you this, but if you have the default uh, Samsung TouchWiz launcher, you basically, well, maybe I can show you. You pick up an icon there, and let's see. You just tilt your device to the left or right. kind of hard holding the screen up but if you do it just right it moves as you can see you can move your icon to a different screen very nice as well pan to browse image basically the same as uh, tilt to zoom except for you can pan the image by going up and down or right or left when you're zoomed in Let me just move your, I don't know if you guys can catch that very well, there we go. But the photo moves as you move your phone. <clears throat> Shake to update. This will help you scan for Bluetooth, keys, air devices, and other devices. You basically just shake your phone. And as you can see, it pops up scanning right there. And it shows the available Bluetooth devices, which in this case are just a test. There's none there. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got turn over to mute. Now if you're playing music, um, you get a, a message, an alarm, anything like that. All you have to do is just turn your phone over And it mutes it. To give you a better idea, let's put on a little bit of music real quick.
And we got a forged close, awesome. Okay, so that doesn't work unless you're on a center. Oh, you know what? That also doesn't work unless you're using the default uh, Samsung Music Player. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see here, the Samsung Music Player. Voila. Just like that. So yeah, you have to have the stock Samsung music player to get that to work. And real quick before my battery dies here. Sorry again guys. As you can tell I'm a real pro at these. Making these videos for you guys. And then we've got palm swipe to capture. I turned it off. Derp -a -derp. Take your screenshots just like that anywhere you want. And palm touch to mute, which is another cool one. You can just put your music player back on. And mute it like that. So there you have it. Those are all the motion stuff that you could do with the Galaxy S3. Keep on uh, checking out the rest of this review. There's a lot more to come. And just know that it's my favorite Android phone I've ever owned. Thanks for checking it out. Hit that like button. Subscribe and add us to your circles on Google+. Peace.